While signs of an economic turnaround are slowly beginning to appear, residual stress from the past several months continues to cause a lot of anxiety for many. But it's important to recognize when normal financial stress might be turning into a recession obsession, a sign of a more serious anxiety disorder, a condition affecting close to one million Canadians. Dr. Martin Katzman is a clinic director of the Start Clinic for Mood and Anxiety Disorders and co-chair of the Scientific Advisory Board of the Anxiety Disorders Association of Canada. What separates generalized anxiety disorder from normal worry is that generalized anxiety disorder is a chronic, long-term, destructive illness. It's almost like there is a wheel of anxiety that spins throughout their lives. The worry comes and goes, but is never gone. The worry is destructive, it's damaging, it's distracting. Even with improvements in the economy, people with generalized anxiety disorder are not going to stop worrying. The worry may shift, the, sh the worry may take a new form, it may be a different worry. If left untreated, GAD can become debilitating and contribute to unemployment and serious family and social problems. People with generalized anxiety disorder are far more likely to develop depression. And that depression, in combination with generalized anxiety disorder, can be extremely destructive. The consequences of having these illnesses may contribute later on to an increased risk of vascular illnesses like heart disease and potentially other life-threatening illnesses. A lot of people with generalized anxiety disorder notice physical discomfort, and this can include muscle aches, blurred vision, shortness of breath, nausea, sleep problems, and difficulty paying attention or concentrating. For those who are predisposed to generalized anxiety disorder or who may have had it for some time but have never been diagnosed, sometimes an event like experiencing a recession can be the tipping point that encourages them to seek professional help. I encourage people suffering with generalized anxiety disorder, suffering needlessly to go for help, to try medications, to try psychotherapy, to have access to improved health care, to improve the quality of their life. The good news is that you don't have to surrender to the wheel of anxiety and suffer in silence. With the right management plan, it is possible to recover from generalized anxiety disorder and get back to feeling like yourself again. For more information about generalized anxiety disorder, visit anxietycanada.ca or speak with your doctor. Sherry Demetarko reporting.